Hello everyone and welcome to the Rain and Grades Kingdom. My name is Elle and today is all about probability with pedigrees. But before we get into the video, make sure you go downstairs and click that like button. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified whenever I make new videos. So, without further ado, let's make it boom. With pedigree probability, the first thing we have to look at is mode of inheritance. So with this example, let's start with sex linkage, which with the second family we see it can't be because you have an affected mother and a son who is not affected. So let's move on to autosomal recessive, which with the second family and the last family we see it can't be because when people marry in, we assume they're homozygous, and in this case, that doesn't work. So we know it's autosomal dominant, and with that, we can start filling in alleles. So we give the first generation man a large A and the first generation woman two small A's and we can start filling in children. Well, since that man has unaffected children, we give him a small A and we can fill in the rest. Once we have the second generation done, then we can start filling in the third generation. When filling in alleles, make sure to give each child one allele from mom and one allele from dad. So let's say that we want to find the probability that the second family gave birth to an affected daughter. Since this is two parts, we'll start with part one, the Punnett square. With that, we see that the genotypes are in a one-to-one -one ratio, so our first part is one half. The second part, we compare male and female. Since those are also in a one-to-one -one ratio, we multiply the first half by the second half to get an answer of one-fourth. Now let's do a problem with an unknown. So for this one, I'll help you out a bit. Both of the parents in generation one are heterozygous, and with that, we can move on to our problem, which is the probability that the child in generation three is homozygous recessive. Since this is another two-part problem, our first Punnett square will be the probability that its father is heterozygous, because that's the only way the child could be homozygous recessive, and then we'll do a second Punnett square. So the first one is with the parents in generation one, and we find out the probability that the father is heterozygous is one half. And then we'll do our second Punnett square with the heterozygous father and the homozygous recessive mother. With this, again, we see that the probability that the child is homozygous recessive is one half. And with that, we can multiply the two one-halves together to get an answer of one-fourth. If this problem had a gender involved, you would just multiply the one-fourth by one-half to get one-eighth. So that's a little bit about single gene inheritance. Make sure to stay tuned for sex linkage and other genetic problems. Thank you for watching this video and be sure to share with your teachers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that I helped you get an A on your test. Much love always from Elle, and I will see you next time in the kingdom.